Welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to look at another lesson on vectors. This one is about writing component form of vectors and finding magnitude. So let's try to write the component form of the vector PQ and find the magnitude. Now PQ is not in standard form. So P is the initial point and Q is the terminal point. So what we want to do is from a graphical approach, let's plot each point. So let's plot the point for P, and that is at the point 2, negative 3. And then we're going to plot the point Q, and that's negative 5, 4. Now, the vector PQ would be this vector right here that connects P, the initial, to Q, the terminal. Now we're going to find this horizontal distance. So let's go back and find what is the horizontal distance of the vector. So since we're going to the left, it's actually going to be negative, and that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So negative 7. And then the vertical distance, let me grab my little line again, is positive because we're going up from P to Q, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's also seven. So the vector PQ is the vector negative seven, seven. Now I can take the vector that I've drawn, the resulting vector from P to Q, and I can place it in standard position. And I can see that, yes, indeed, this is negative 7, positive 7. And that would be the component form in standard position. Now we want to find the magnitude. So the magnitude is the length of this vector. Well, we can use the Pythagorean theorem now that we've got it drawn because we know the horizontal direction is negative 7 and positive 7. So I can just plug in 7 and I can square it, or negative 7 for my x direction, positive 7 squared for my y direction to get the length of the vector c. So that's going to give me 49 plus 49. And that's equal to c squared. So when I add those together, that's 98 is equal to c squared, and we're going to take the square root of both sides. So c ends up being 2, I'm sorry, 7 square root of 2, and that is the length of the vector, which is also the magnitude of the vector. So that's how you find the magnitude. Now let's write the component form and the magnitude of vector v. So now we're given the vector as a vector on a Cartesian coordinate plane. We can see that its, it's initial point is at the point 2, 3. Its terminal point is at, what's this, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it is at the point 8, 6. Now, I really don't need to know those points. It's just helpful to see. What I do need is the horizontal distance, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So my vector is positive 6, 1, 2, 3, positive 3. And that is, whoops, this little vector symbol. And that is the vector um, in component form. Now we can also find that position by just using the formula terminal minus initial. So I can take these two do positions, 8, 6, and I can subtract from it 2, 3, and I can indeed get the vector 6, 3 as the resultant vector. So it's always your terminal minus your initial point. Now, the magnitude. The magnitude is very simple. We know we've got 6 in the horizontal direction, 3 in the vertical direction. So 6 squared plus 3 squared is equal to c squared. 
So that's going to be 36 plus 9, and that gives us c squared. So we need to take the square root of 45 to get c. n squared of 45 is 3 square root 5, and that is our magnitude. So once you get your vector in standard position or st as a standard uh, vector, it is very easy because you just square 6, square 3, add those together and take the square root, and that's our magnitude. Okay, let's try one more of these. This one, we're looking at finding the component form of AB. So A is my initial and B is my terminal. So to find the standard position, I'm going to take terminal, so negative 2 minus 1, and then 4 minus 1. And that's going to give me the vector in standard form, so that's going to give me negative 3, uh, 3, and there is vector AB in component form. So that's our component form. So our magnitude is very simple. We take negative 3, quantity, and we square it. We take positive 3, quantity squared, and that's going to give me 9 plus 9. So what's the square root of 18? And square root of 18 is 3 square root of 2. And that is my magnitude for AB. Now, what if I have a scalar multiple? Okay, if I have a scalar multiple, that's going to change it slightly. And I wanted to show you this graphing also. So I'm, my initial point is B, my terminal point is C. I'm going to graph this one. So negative 2, positive 4, there's B. And then 3, negative 4, that's C. So my original vector from B to C is right here. Okay, but I want 2 times BC. So I'm going to double this x direction, and I'm going to double the y direction. So right now, in component form, a BC would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 in the positive direction, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 in the negative direction. So the vector BC is the vector 5, negative 8. Right, wasn't that at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so yeah, 7, 8, but I want twice that. So two times that vector in component form would then give me 10, negative 16. So there is my vector in component form for 2BC. Now I need to find the magnitude. So let's take 10 squared plus the quantity, negative 16 squared, and that's going to give me 100 plus, let's see, what is 16 squared? And that's going to give me 256. So that's the square root of 356 that I'm looking for. I'm going to take the square root of all this. And so you can just simplify that. Um, I'm going to use my calculator to help me. I know it's divisible by 4. And it's divisible by 4 yet again. And so, wait, that's, I want 356. 356 divisible by 4. That gives me 89. So that's 2 square root 89. And that would be my magnitude. So there you go. That's how you write the component form and the magnitude for different vectors. And that's where we're going to stop this video. I hope it was helpful learning about component form and magnitude.